Let's bring in Jeff Bellotti, Wyndham Hotels and Resorts president and CEO. Jeff, uh, welcome. I'm kidding, of course, about expensing the gasoline, but it does feel like those are two very distinct segments of the population. The business traveler has entirely different sensitivities than the leisure traveler. What's your typical mix? Well, great to see you, Kelly, again. And we're here in D.C. I just want to get a plug in quickly for Wyndham's Women on the Room program, where we're proud sponsors of She Has a Deal, where 22 women are pitching for equity to invest in development projects. And one thing we know that this industry needs are more women developers. And uh, we're really proud to be here. Your question on gasoline, uh, your question on uh, the business travel, actually our business travel segments are, are have never stopped traveling. I mean, we are much more boots and hard hats in, uh, in, in our small business owners and our franchisees owners, hotels, and of course, leisure travel is just off the charts right now, and, and gasoline doesn't seem to be impacting that in any way yet. Wait, so you're telling me you're doing like a little shark tank back there? You playing the role of Kevin O'Leary? Well, we've got some great judges. Unfortunately, I'm not one of them. We had one of our one of our team members, but uh, yeah, we, we are, uh, we're doing it. I, shark, shark tank is a, is a very good analogy of what's going on right now. There, this this industry is is so desperately in need of uh, of more female developers, more women developers, and and we have a program, Women on the Way, where we want to use our balance sheet, we want to use our resources to see more of them come in. Unfortunately, only one out of every ten developers today are women, uh, but we think we could boost that up, and that's what's going on behind me. Understood. Let me pick up on something you just said. I actually have a chart here that backs it up, but it's pretty. I don't want to say it's hard to believe, but it's kind of hard to believe that you're seeing no impact from the gasoline price surge. Why do you think that is? Uh, there is such, as all of your guests all week long, Kelly, have been talking about just such unconstrained demand. Try to find some place to vacation this weekend. And no matter what survey is out there, AAA talking about the return of the Great American Road Trip and how this summer will be record drive to. U.S. Travel Association here in D.C. is reporting that at no time during the pandemic, has there been more desire for Americans to travel? Nine out of every 10 Americans are saying they are trying to plan a vacation this summer. And there's, there's just record occupancies. Our economy occupancy is up double digit, not, not to last year, but to 2019, yeah. which was the best cycle that this industry's ever seen. And finally, and I mentioned shares in an all-time higher, you know, when Apple gave its earnings this week, they talked about how they sales could be $8 billion higher if not for supply chain constraints. Are you in a similar position when we talk about, you know, the opportunities for expansion or the constraints on it? Well, you know, our small business owners, we're the world's uh, largest hotel franchising company, are certainly seeing pressure. But uh, that, that's our job is what can we do to help bringing down those costs to find alternate uh, sources of, 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 of sourcing to look at internally here in the United States or yeah. in South America where, where, where you're removing that friction uh, and, and trying to minimize that delay. But uh, development right now, we just hit a record pipeline. Our pipeline grew 9% year over year. We've never had a, a stronger development pipeline. And I think the, the, um, attitude of our small business owners is now is a great time if they can find a piece of land right. uh, as these women developers are behind me trying to do to uh, to develop a hotel because we believe that we're be, we're really at the beginning of what we think could be another uh, multi-year um, cycle ahead of us. I, I, feel, I feel better already. Uh, with breathless excitement, Jeff. Thanks so much for your time today, especially on such a big day for you guys. Thanks, Kelly. Jeff Bellotti of Wyndham.